Hey guys, it's Matt with Meat Church and welcome back to my outdoor kitchen. Today we're gonna compare homemade marinade versus store marinade by doing pork tenderloin three ways. Well, obviously we got a little different look here today. I'm proud to report it's raining for the first time in like three or four months in Texas. So uh, you'll no doubt hear it. So we've scooted over just a little bit, but hey, it's been back to school for everybody. Uh, not as much time for a lot of people to cook. And the thought occurred to me, we don't have a tenderloin video on YouTube or a recipe on meatchurch.com. We did an awesome pork loin at Christmas, but a tenderloin is one of the easiest things you can do. Um, and we thought, man, we better show you how I've done it for years. And we're gonna actually do a comparison. Um, when I worked in corporate America back in the cube life, I would, I'm gonna admit to you, I buy tons of these Lowry's marinades of different types and different flavors. I'd drop chicken, pork, whatever in a bag before I went to work, uh, let it marinate all day. The great thing about a marinade, it tenderizes the meat, and when you're marinating all day, like eight hours, uh, it's gonna put intense flavor in the protein, which I really dig. So we're gonna use this one. We're also going to use a friend of our Justin's Vachon's Japanese barbecue sauce um, on a different one because the great thing about a tenderloin, it's like a blank canvas. You can go all different directions. So we're gonna have a lemon pepper tenderloin. We're gonna go Asian barbecue. And then we're gonna make a marinade, which I love. So this is gonna be a garlic honey Dijon marinade that is really quite simple. So we've got recipe down in the description and on meatchurch.com, but we're going half a cup Dijon, half a cup of clover honey. This is Burles and Sunny here, local to Waxhatchee, Texas. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Tablespoon of uh, fresh garlic, just minced that up. And here's a real key. I've minced up here some thyme and oregano uh, this was fresh, not dried, smells awesome. That's really gonna wake this thing up. And you guys know Meat Church, we don't ever salt and pepper to taste, we holy cow to taste. So that's, that's I don't know, maybe a teaspoon or so. Let's get that all mixed up. Look at that, I love me some mustard. And I love this one. So here's our battle. It's not really a battle, they're just different. Here's our three contestants. Who's gonna come out on top? And I'm not telling you this is automatically winning. That's not the deal. Because you do different types of marinades for different times, different circumstances, different purposes, just like cookers. So during the week when I'm working, a lot of times, this is the only thing I have time for. So that's what I'm doing. Um, same thing with, like I said, with cookers, offset smokers versus pellet grills. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, my kids are in school, I'm hopping on the pellet grill almost every night. Again, they allow you to cook outside more often than you otherwise would. So what we've done here is I made that marinade last night and I dropped in a prairie fresh tenderloin, just over a pound in each of these bags. Poured in the Bachan Japanese barbecue sauce, poured in the Lowry's lemon pepper, and I simply vac sealed them in my made with meat chamber sealer. I get asked this a lot, why a chamber sealer? When you're doing marinades, um, it doesn't suck out all the liquid and make a huge mess. So let's cut these open and get some gloves. You can season before you marinade. I season after, doesn't really matter. And how long do you need to marinade? Two to eight hours. The longer you marinate, the more intense the flavor. I love an overnight marinade personally. So on these tenderloins, I did remove the silver skin from the end. <clears throat> That's the only thing I've done with these. Otherwise, I've not trimmed them at all. Um, I found these Prairie Fresh tenderloins at my local Walmart. And I'm here to tell you, before you crack on Walmart's meat, they are working on their meat program. Uh, and the Prairie Fresh, yes, they're a partner of ours, but amazing pork.
There we go. These are all facing the same way. Marinade also changes the color. Um, we need to put a little seasoning on here, so let's get to that. So I'm gonna keep this simple. On the lemon pepper, I'm going with Meat Church Gourmet Lemon Pepper, obviously. Keep that same flavor profile. A little windy out here. See, on the Asian, I thought I would go with our Voodoo. A little sweetness, a little kick to it. Now, you're not going to need much. They marinated. They're going to have a lot of flavor. I mean, to be honest with you, some people might like to go even without a seasoning, but why would you do that? And then I'm just going holy cow, which is salt, pepper, garlic here on this one. We're going to keep this one nice and savory. Okay. The cook, crazy simple. We're not smoking these. We're going to grill them. I'm going to grill them 375. I've got a Traeger Timberline XL set up with Meat Church pellets. Meat Church pellets, by the way, are the perfect mix of oak and hickory, so these are going to have some pretty good heat on them. Got the top shelves out just so you can see. In we go. That's it. We're gonna cook these until they're 140 internal temperature. They're gonna carry over a few degrees to get us to that 145. That way they stay nice and juicy. I'm not flipping them, not spritzing them, not doing anything. So we'll see y'all back here when they're near completion. All right guys, it's been 30 minutes. We're temping in the thickest part. Ooh. That one's 143. This one's actually 145. And that one is 142. Man, they smell awesome. Look at completely, uh, completely different look already. Um, you can really see the, the deep color from the marinade um, on this one. And look, we could have cut these tails off so they cook completely evenly, but this isn't a competition. Um, you know, everything doesn't have to be symmetrical and plus my kids are gonna eat all of that. So we need to let these cool off and then we're gonna cut into them. We're gonna taste test and we're gonna see who the winner is. All right, little recap. We've got the Lowry's Lemon Pepper Marinade with Meat Church Gourmet Lemon Pepper Seasoning. We've got Bachan's Japanese Barbecue Sauce with Meat Church Holy Voodoo. And we've got our homemade Honey Garlic Dijon Marinade with Meat Church Holy Cow. So let's, uh, Let's compare, contrast, and see the differences. Just gonna cut a little, uh, little medallion off each here. Tender. All right. Here we go. And you can see the juice in those. I'm just gonna go left to right. We're gonna go in on a lemon pepper first. By the way, way juicy. And we're way down here on the end where it's more overcooked than right here in the middle. And uh, I don't know if y'all can see that, but loaded with juice. That's super good. I don't know why we don't use our lemon pepper in more videos because I'm a big fan. We're lemon pepper people. Really good, really easy. Definitely a winner. Let's jump over here to the, the Bachons. So Justin's product, I have said uh, in the past, is like a cheat code. You know I already love this. Something about an Asian flair with pork just goes. That was literally just his sauce on this overnight. That's really good. Um, you could do some stuff to this to make it you know a fancier presentation but that flavor is definitely a winner let's try the homemade 
crazy juicy. That's really good as well. There's just something about when you make something yourself, but what I dig about this one is the fresh herbs. So dicing those, popping them open, getting that freshness, and you know, pro tip, you gotta preserve some of it. That'll be good too, that's a little bit of cheating. That's crazy good. Man, I'm a mustard guy too, so I love that one. Man, they're, they're all great. This will go, I'm gonna go back to what I said at the beginning. You know, different circumstances, different reasons. Um, I'm not always gonna have time to make a marinade. Uh, I might not have the ingredients, and I always have this stuff stocked up in my pantry. And since I own a barbecue supply shop in Waxachi, I always have this as well. So sometimes you might just wanna soak it in something, but fun to show the diversity um, of pork. This prairie fresh pork is awesome, super good stuff. By the way, I think these were like nine bucks for two, so couldn't get any cheaper as well. So give this a shot uh, for your weeknight meals now that school has uh, started back. And if you dig what we're doing, please like and subscribe. We drop weekly, straightforward, no shtick how-to cooking videos. And as always, recipe is down in the description as well as links to the tools that we use, but everything can also be found at meatchurch.com. Thanks for watching. See y'all next week.